And now we get a peek at some of the top players here for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. Brandon God and Charles Davis ready to go in the booth. We hope you're ready to go at the controls. Let's play. started and here we go we're underway in Madden ultimate team taken at the goal line and no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line so from the 17 now here's a first and 10 and an early how do you do right there as they're going to bury him in the backfield Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. To throw, it's Brady. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Gordon. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Now Brady. He's going to loft this one deep left sideline. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete an early message that this secondary is going to be tested because even though it fell incomplete, it almost felt like a warning shot to get things going. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. Man open, it's Moss complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll go left side on the ground with Chubb. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Well, when you go from second and four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. Call it a gain of three. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Brady's going to sneak it. Probably helps your confidence level on those fourth down sneaks to have a quarterback as tall as he is. Yeah, you're talking about being able to extend at the end and make sure the ball gets to the first down marker. But also, he has to be able to drop his hips and get down behind that offensive line in order to move forward. Because if he just runs it straight up and down, you and I both know that they'll snap him backwards. Well done there. Well executed. Nick Bolton there on the tackle. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Second down, here's Chubb again. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Have to give credit for a nice play there, but also have to look at it as a blown assignment. He became a free runner that turned into a free hitter. On play action, now Brady. Got an open man, that's David Njoku, the tight end. This offense has converted in this spot twice already here in this first quarter. What can they convert again here on fourth down? And Gordon's got it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. No score after one on EA Sports. 
On the carry, it's Chubb. Down right around the 25. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. And he'll get this pretty close to a first down as he's tackled at the Steelers' 18-yard line. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Now Chubb. And all the way down inside the five to the four. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty. Can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. Nick Chubb taking it in from four yards out as his guys are on the board first here tonight. No, CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, they looked like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4, fine between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. Looking up into the lights, and he muffs it. And Hill will opt for the touchback. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Here's Michael Vick. This will be caught by Randy Moss. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Look, we came into this one focused on Randy Moss, and now he has our full attention with his first grab of the game. Well, he's one of only two players to go a whole season averaging over 100. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It's a sack. And it is going to bring Fred us to the two-minute warning. The fridge, William Perry, in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Throwing on second and long. Vic. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defender's grip. And in for the Steelers' touchdown! Randy Moss, 60 yards! And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. The Browns drive about to get started. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. Now left side on the swing pass. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. That's a nice design there. But sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. 
You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Again, it's Brady. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Meanwhile, Brady's throw taken in by Adams. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 42. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. On first down, Brady. He finds his man complete. That's Bush. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll make it second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field. And all the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb in the final seconds of the first half, and the Browns have taken the lead. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to seven. 14, Steelers 7. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. They're going to take this up close to the 40, so really good starting field position. This will be the final play of the half. Vic, he's going to loft one deep left side here. Oh, Vic's throw intercepted. Picked off down at the two. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. And Vic's throw there incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Grant Delpit. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. Two yards the loss, second and 12. They run it again with Chubb, and he'll get this down only to the 18. 
The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the gun on third down, Brady. And that is incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one well, of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. The bottom line, tremendous starting field position really squandered there as they wind up going backwards and then come up with just three. Well, getting the three turned out to be important. I can imagine the head coach when he ordered the field. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Nine yards, and that leaves them just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Again, it's Henry. And this is going to be a Steelers first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. Each team has its own terminology. Some people call it jumbo. Some call it monster. Some call it king. But it doesn't really matter. They brought in the big lumber to pick up that first down. Yeah, you think about goal line defense with the goal line offense that time getting it done. Jadavian Cloudy there on the stop. Second down and eight. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And this is going to be a Steelers first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. They'll try to throw it here. Vic sliding out of the pocket. He dumps it off for Henry. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Throwing, Vic. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Three quarters in the books. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Off the play fake, Vic. Flush to his right. Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And we know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And again, it's Chubb. Chubb will have the first down and much more. 
He's at the 50. 